Hello, and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We're gonna do a couple of puzzles. Agbar's Academy. This dungeon will introduce you to some of the effects that slowing has on players and monsters, particularly with strike order. Ooh, we have some something new. Really big sword. This weapon is so unwieldy that the hero will always strike last in combat. On the other hand, it pierces 35% physical resistance. Nice. Kill. Oh, not kill. That's a level. Wait, what? Weird. We got. Wait, what? Um. So, if we kill this guy, we're not gonna level up. That's the important thing here. So we may as well switch with them. Um. And unfortunately, can we? We can convert this, right? We don't have enough magic to, hmm. There's a lot of things to consider here. We don't have enough magic to use it on this uh, uh, Iblis. So, like, I think the idea here is that we have to like hit them once and then swap with them so that they're slowed and then we can get that last kill, right? Because this way, even if I convert this now, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm still going to strike second. Um... Oh, wait. I converted the wrong thing. That's pretty funny. Okay. Can we kill them now? No. Okay, um, but I think I understand what we have to do. Okay, we'll pick up this because we do have to kill this guy now because this guy apparently has physical resistance which is weird because they're a meat man uh like i say there's no way for us to level up however i think we still need to kill this guy because we only have enough mana to use wait what once Um, so now what we can do is hit this guy once. And then we need to swap with them. And then convert that. And convert this. And then we can kill them. Nice. Puzzle complete. Well done. Nice. Not too, not too bad. And then we, now we have slowing two. Let's do two of these. Since they're, as long as I'm on the ball, they're fast, right? So at least we know we have to kill this guy. Like, there's no question about it. We can just smack him. Pick up the potion. Pick up this. Pick up that. Okay, so this guy's doing 999 damage. That tells me that we need to use spells against them. But here's the thing. They also retaliate with fireball. All right? So here's the problem. <laughs> Um, I think that the only thing we can do is like if we slowed them down and then fireballed maybe that would okay. I don't know I don't know. There's weird things happening here So um, We know like unless I use a fireball against this goblin which would kill them But we only have we do have five mana potions. There is that so we have to we have to figure this out we have to puzzle this out this is a level one gin so the only thing that's gonna maybe wow the only thing that's gonna maybe kill them is if we use uh wait what but we're gonna have to we'd have to use wait what twice on them and they're only level one so they're not even they're only gonna give us one xp we're level two already so this zombie over here is only gonna give us two xp right yeah um i like it it tells oh that's that's our name so even if we killed this guy this guy and this guy that's still only four xp so there's no way we would actually get to level we would be able to level up so that's kind of weird that they put all those extra creatures here when in fact they're not actually gonna help us level up 
So that tells me that we're not meant to try and fight them. Let's do wait what? And then try and use a fireball. So, okay, that, yeah, okay, that, this is the lesson. The lesson is as long as they're slowed, um, we can use, we can cast spells on them. So that means we're going to have to slow them and then use uh, a fireball on them. Um, Because they have first strike and retaliate. But we don't have enough, like, we straight up don't have enough mana to do this. So well, that's, you know, the end of that. Uh, what is this? Slowness can temporarily remove these buffs, buffs from an enemy. Fireball, Retaliation, First Strike, Blink, Cowardice. Killing an enemy that has been slowed will also yield bonus experience. Oh, right. I forgot about that part. I forgot about that. That's such a weird extra quirk. Bonus XP. So... Uh, what we need to do, I suppose, is actually uh, use slowed to level up. And we can only do 10 damage. Oh, we are doing 10 damage, so that means we can um, kill the zombie with slowed. So if we do this, then we can kill them and we'll gain 3 XP. We also get a mana potion, so yeah, okay, there's there's things going on here. Um The only problem is we we have this gin over here to worry about. Let's kill this guy. We get another mana potion. The problem is I'm pretty sure I gotta do this like twice. I gotta do the same thing to this freaking dude over here as I do to that dude. This seems highly not worth it. <laughs> and it's not even gonna kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this uh, killing this guy over here is a hundred percent not worth it. We're that's that's the lesson. So does that mean we have to somehow make enough XP from these guys? If I slow this guy, maybe I, I would have had enough. I would have gotten enough XP that I didn't need this guy over here. No, that's incorrect. I don't understand. Maybe we're not meant to level up. Maybe we're just supposed to get enough mana that we have enough um, wait what's to attack this guy. But we need a lot of them. We have 10 mana and we need to cast like 14 mana's worth of spells just to attack this guy once. Um... These guys got retaliate fireball. They told they said here fireball reta retaliation. It's it should be that this removes his retaliation, right? Except it doesn't. Why? Why did they tell like it's like they straight up lied. <laughs> I don't understand that. I really don't understand why they say things that are just wrong. <laughs> remove these buffs from an enemy. These slowness can temporarily remove these buffs from an enemy. Fireball retaliation. Killing an enemy that has been slowed will also yield bonus XP. Is this a bug? Like, is the game just bugged right now? Because look at that. If I do it on them, it's, it, it has crossed out retaliation fireball. Yet they still have it. I think this is bugged. I, that that tells me that the, the, this is actually just wrong.
Okay. Well, I might report that in the uh, Desktop Dungeons Discord and uh, see what's up later. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do an actual dungeon while we have the time. So I didn't manage to get the stupid badge. Unstoppable. Isn't that the one I'm supposed to get? I do think that there certain things are not working properly, maybe. But anyway, why don't we do um, Eastern Tundra? Uh, we could do Southern Swamp. It, it seems to be okay. South is quite difficult, but provides some financial opportunities. Recommended for confident players and game veterans. Yeah, let's do, let's do Swamp Romp. And I would like to do it with, I like human. Let's do like human thief with a uh, sword. I like the sword. And they're start, starting us up with getting dare. That's nice. You might be wondering, hello. Yeah. You might be wondering, why am I exploring? There's an enemy right there. Well, I would like to uh, possibly kill an enemy of higher level than me for our first one. Um, this is proving to be not worth it. We have, uh, flame burned arrays. I want to, I just want to find a level two creature. Okay. Uh, we've almost found enough creatures to level up at this point. We have end this wall. Good to know, actually. Oh, there we go. And it's a it's a meat man. That's actually really good. I think we can do this. Cause all we gotta do, we gotta uh, we'll use one burn to raise. Actually, I don't think that the, this is gonna make a difference. I actually feel like um, doing end this wall would be a better use of our magic. I, all right, let's, they're going to do four damage. So let's go ahead and take a health potion. Smack them and then get in there. And that means that we, the, the I, like I did that for a bonus. That's all I'm really doing. Um, and we'll level up by killing this dude and gain of our, our business back. So we're at level two. Um, these plants are a problem. What do they do? Mana burn. Oh god, they, they kill our mana. Alright, so... Wait, what? Lose all mana, cannot regenerate mana. Oh my god. Okay, so don't, don't attack the plants. Got it. Don't ever attack the plants. Because, <laughs> good lord, um, not having any mana and not being able to regenerate mana, that's, that's a problem. Ah, good. You're, you'll make a fantastic snack, hero. I've been stuck here chewing on my own tail for ages. Bloodstained to say what? So what do we have here? Troll heart. Plus two health on level up. Not a bad time to get something like this, but we don't have... Oh, we do have enough. We don't have enough inventory space for it. That's why it's telling us that. You know what? Let's let's get rid of Endus Wall and then buy it. So we're going to get extra uh, health per level up. Um, we might be able to get away with this. He's got 12 health, so he he's, he does perfectly like our health amount of damage. Um, but I have some mana potions. I could probably hit him a couple times with some of these. And now we can hit them once and then we'll do, oh, we have to take another mana. We have to use all of our mana potions to, to, to do this. Probably not of good use of our resources, to be honest. We have a bonus uh, dungeon here. Let's check this. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this madness? For what reason, though? 
Corrosive Creeper. First strike, corrosive, no experience. Erosive L root. Curse bearer slowed. Killing or being struck by this creature will curse you. Uh, I wish I knew what that meant. Plant. Nothing happens. I have a feeling we want to get to that on the other side. I, that might even be a, a, another god. Um, these corrosive, what does these do? Corrosive attack, target permanently takes extra damage. Oof. We definitely don't want that. I don't think we want curse bearer either. But it does sound better than permanent dam extra damage. So let's try it. What is this curse? We'll take full damage from all attacks. Remove curse stacks by killing uncursed enemies. Okay, that's that's fine. We can kill this plant and get rid of it right away. Right? No? Why didn't I why didn't that remove it? Why didn't that remove it? Yo, this game's got a major problem with communication. <laughs> like, is this an enemy or is it not an enemy? Is it only an enemy if you gain experience? Like, my dude. Um, well, this barbing bush is a an optional direction because the thing is we can use fire to remove it. Get rid of this plant. So what are these mushrooms? If they're poisonous. They will do damage to us. I mean, uh, that's fine. I'm pretty sure I see the route here. We have poison, cannot regenerate health through exploration. I mean, that's a problem for sure, but um, I see a route at the very least. Um, if I had one more, if I, if, well, hmm. So these have first strike. Okay, so they have first strike. Uh, so we can't use getting there. Not that it matters, but we can attack this thing and I'll attack this thing. And um, I guess we didn't have to do that last one. Now we have curse three. Um, I'll go and get some mana and uh, kill that last thing with a fireball. And then we'll, we should be able to reach whatever it is in the center there. We've got tons of creatures we can kill to remove our curse. And we have our mana back, so let's go ahead and head down, back down. Um, come over here, burn to raise, and kill this last thing. We'll gain an extra curse, but that's fine. A voice emerges from what seems to be the ground itself. I have seen the destruction that you and your kind have inflicted upon the natural order. You cut a deadly swath uh, through the green beauty of these realms with no thought, nor regrets. Um, this madness must come to an end. You, hero, shall become my follower and spread my word to your people. Respect the plants. Respect the earth. Go forth and murder no one. I give you this one chance only. Much appreciated. I seem to recall when I played Desktop Dungeons original, uh, I did not like this god. <laughs> they were a bit harder to manage. So, the fallen shall feed the earth and glorify the earth mother. Every blood pool on the current screen, acid included, is converted into a random plant. Each plant created this way will grant five piety. So that's the way, that's how we earn piety. Also, which is so you know, we lose piety if we kill a plant. Makes sense, doesn't it? Clearance. Those in the Earth Mother's favor may ask the forest to move aside for a moment. Up to ten random plants are moved from the current dungeon, restoring one mana each. Mana per plant, one. Removes random plants, ten. So that's how we get rid of the plants. Five plus five. Why does it say that? <laughs> oh, I think that means that when... Um, once I've taken this once, it's going to cost more the next time. And then we have green blood. In exchange for your loyal service to the Earth Mother, she will purge unnatural auras and weaken those who stand against you. One cursed stack is removed. All enemies on the current dungeon level are corroded and three random plants are spawned. Cool. 
Uh, entanglement. The enemy of a follower is the enemy of nature itself. The Earth Mother will temporarily trap and slow all non-plant enemies on the current dungeon level. Spawns five random plants. I sure hope our boss is not plant related. Vine form. Nature's servants will not be abandoned. With this boon, the Earth Mother will permanently protect you with a second skin of living vines, reducing incoming damage by one and increasing health by four. Spawns two random plants. So this is good. We probably want to buy this like right away. We can, uh, we can get it twice also. It is going to spawn plants, but whatever. Now we we'll want to go and uh, create some blood stains. Um, we could potentially level up right now. This will remove our cursed. Cool. We're level three now. And we gain extra uh, health from the troll heart. Um... So I'm just trying to think of like, oh, you know, what do we, how do we want to play this? Regen plus five HP, but less damage. Interesting. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, let's see how, how badly does this guy hurt us? Pretty badly. I don't think that's worth it. We have level nines everywhere. And, uh, yeah, these plants are already a problem. Oh, God, no, Torog. Convert. We could convert. We can't convert because we are already followers of, of the mother. Of Earth Mother. Um, we could desecrate. Desecrating this altar will anger its owner, but you'll earn bonus piety and your patron God will be more forgiving for your of your mistakes. So we have two, this is the first time we've had like two gods. Uh, we have enough favor. We could probably buy vine form again. We can also corrode the enemy. That's an option as well. In fact, we can do this twice. But remember that's also spawning plants and that can become a problem. In fact, it, I think it already has become one. <laughs> we can't quite kill this guy, but that's fine because we have getting there. Don't forget. Don't forget about all of your stuff, not just some of it. Uh, zombies hit hard. That guy is not going to, it's not going to work for me, but this meat man is kind of perfect for us. Perfect. And we leveled up. Um, we can't kill this goblin. I'm just wondering like we we could do some funky stuff here let's we could do plantation and then remove some of the plants why can't we do this oh it costs five to use why Th that's so weird <laughs> that's so silly because like so it costs five to do it but then we gain five piety per blood stain what a strange mechanic Okay, well, that's fine. Earth Mother is a pain. That's that's all I'm going to say. Oh, we got... There's a... Let me see over here. I think I just want to convert that, if I'm being honest, for the extra damage. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, it's a goblin. Doesn't that suck? We're at level four. We can't do very much damage with our, uh, with our fire. So 
So I'm just, I'm just like, wait, we could, um, use a health potion. They do 39 damage. So if we hit them once and then restore 40% of our health, yeah, we could do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Wait, what? Did we dodge them? I think we like, I think we do have a 5% dodge chance, but like what? I forgot that uh, getting deer get also gives us a 5% dodge, but I don't think that that's what that was. So wait a minute, how do I gain piety from, how do I gain piety normally? I think I have to desecrate this. Only a fool would so boldly reject Torog's gifts. May your body become as frail as your spirit. Uh, I think we just lost a bunch of our attack. That was probably really unwise. All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to do plantation and now we're at like ridiculous. We do want to remove some plants. I guess I should have checked if, if I was even like slightly inhibited before doing that. Uh, the enemy of a follower is the enemy of nature itself. The Earth Mother will temporarily trap and slow all non-plant enemies on the current dungeon level. Uh, all enemies on the current dungeon are level are corroded. So they're just going to do less damage. Well, let's just do vine form for now. Um, okay. We'll have to figure out where we're at at this point. This one, Naga is going to poison us probably? No. No, they're going to weaken us instead. Strikes do one less base damage. So I'm pretty sure I'll need uh, Earth Mo Mother to remove that debuff. Because I just leveled up and I still have it. Okay, I don't actually have a way of getting back. I'm gonna have to kill one of these plants. I don't know how much I'm gonna lose by doing this. It seems to me that I didn't lose much of anything. I think I can kill this goblin. Um, I just need to weaken them a, a bit. Nice. Oh, we have a uh, sword. Could probably just um, convert our old sword. Or convert the fancy pamphlet. This is the same thing, right? Dying is less permanent. It's a, it's a weird thing. They give you like a second life, but you can convert it at the risk of losing all your progress in this run. Let's go ahead and buy this. We'll do more damage. So we're at level five. That means we should try and kill something at level six. I wonder how bad this meat man would hurt, hurt us. Pretty bad. I have a funny feeling Tarog, um, did more to us than I, I suspect, than I think. Um, this goblin is going to do half of our health and damage. Why don't we just kill some basic stuff for now and then maybe we can put some more blood stains on the on the field of course this guy's bloodless so never mind on that one i didn't mean to do that 
We don't seem to be losing any favor with uh, Earth Mother by just killing plants. So we have biceps. I really like biceps, but we can't really afford to lose any of these things. Maybe troll heart later. So I'll leave it for now. We've got Naga. I think we can actually kill them. Oh, I've got I got mana burned. I misclicked one of these stupid plants and now I got mana burned. Um, why don't we remove that? I think um what is it? Which one of these removes it? Removes curse. Okay, so this only removes curse. Well, that's that's a problem. I don't have any mana potions, so I might be screwed. Oh, there's a mana potion. Thank goodness. Um, okay, so I want to kill... Uh, I guess they... I guess there's no way to re remove weakened. What a problem. We leveled up. We still have weakened four. These, uh, these monsters suck. So we're level six, so killing a, a level seven Naga is still worth it. Um, have we, we have seen our boss. They're at Corrosion 2. We want to kill as many things as we can so we can create as much plants as we can um, and therefore add as much corrosion as we can to the boss. We can't kill this goblin no matter what. Might as well kill some small stuff. And uh, this way we create more blood. And we level up. Uh, will this Naga give us... Well, give us weakening, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we, we're, we're killing them before they kill us. So we're level 7. Um, we're running out of creatures, though. I think we probably have enough for one more level. Oof. Meat man hit hard. I think we can get away with converting now. Yeah, we can pretty much still reach everything. We don't have to worry about the plants. But here's where things suck is uh, if I take this a few times, it's going to spawn plants. If I take these a few times, it's going to, um, it's just going to suck. <laughs> um, slows non-plant enemies. So we can actually use this. We could like weaken a couple of creatures and then slow them. I honestly prefer to use getting there just because it requires less brain power. <laughs> Let's um, use green blood a couple of times. So they're at corrosion four. So we're, we can only hit them like, we can't hit them too many times. Let's do vine form also. May as well do all that and we're good for now. Um, and in fact, we can still reach everything. So we're in a very good spot. I'm really enjoying the music on this, uh, in this dungeon. So we still can't kill Meat Man. Meat Man is a formidable foe. Um, we can't kill this goblin either. In theory, in, in theory, we could use Entanglement to re remove their first strike. But... 
Um, I, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, it did work. Wow, okay. So that worked. Um, we can't use any more spells because if we do, then we can no longer spawn plants, uh, and therefore we wouldn't gain it. We won't gain any more favor. Um... I really want to gain, like, one more level. Uh, this guy hits really hard. Level 7. They are slowed. I mean, we can hit him a couple times and then maybe do get in there. Yeah, we'll hit them once and then do get in there. Okay, that's them taken care of. Oh, look at that. Pissorf. We'll just go ahead and convert that. We don't need that. That's not helpful to us. So we just need to... If we find a level 4, then that's enough to level up on. Meat Man is still a formidable foe. These things still mana burn, and I don't want to be mana burned. Hmm. It's kind of looking like I'm going to be mana burned. I guess I can use a spell. I have exactly enough for a spell. So don't we come here and... Oh, no, never mind. I don't have enough. Yeah, okay, I do. So let's go ahead and use a spell and get rid of this. And, uh... Oh, look, an, an extra dungeon. Nice. This is a goblin. Ooh, goblin race? Hey, buddy, how about some gold? How about 20 will do? And I'll make it worth your while. No way. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go bother someone else. Hmm. If only I could get over there. <laughs> I don't have enough gold. If only I had more gold. Oof. Um, I'm just adjusting and trying to figure out. I guess uh, I could use a health potion. Nothing wrong with that. We could kill Meat Man with a health potion. Threat. Five? I wonder why the fifth one is lit up like that. It is no longer lit up. Okay, so we'll just hit them. And apparently we were able to do it without dying. So we leveled up. Um, I don't think we can get to level nine, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, we need basically 20 gold. Oh, sorry, 20 experience. I don't know why I said gold. We could consider... I don't know. We could try and kill this um, meat man. But... And that would get us to 31. And, you know, that's decent. But I don't know. It's not looking good. There's a level one dude that that helps kind of I think we ought to just fight the boss if I'm being honest Why don't we do we'll do plantation That didn't not get us as much as I was hoping for to be honest. I think we have enough for one well, we have enough for one green blood, but that's not really it. That's not what we want. We could either do one green blood or one vine form. 
or damage reduction. We may as well do green uh, vine form. I'm going to pick one or the other. It's the one I would pick. And at this point, we should just, you know, hit hit the boss. Um, we can do two burn to raise and we have a magic mana potion. So let's just go ahead and do this. We'll hit them twice with burn to raise and a mana potion. So we have seven. Uh, we can't do another burn to raise because then we can't do get and dare. However, we have enough for entanglement. Which is the same as doing getting there, so maybe we'd want to do another burn to raise. And since we've done that, we may as well convert both of our spells into pure damage. And while we're at it, let's go and get this biceps. And I guess we can't use this, so we may as well convert that as well. And now we just smack, smack hard. Um, okay. And then we'll do entanglement. Oh, we don't have enough for entanglement. Uh oh, that's fine. We, we did it. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh, there's a bit of gold over here. Uh oh, angered the Earth Mother sends corrosive vines to tear your body apart. Mercy. Ugh. Here I was hoping for some reason that that was going to be enough gold to unlock the goblin. Uh, it sucks leaving the goblin, but we can always come back and try again. So we did get the cheeky. First monster killed was a higher level than you. Good stuff. Puzzles unlocked. Nature's embrace. New trophy sold. 300. We almost have enough to uh, level something up. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for that. And so we've now completed all of the major dungeons once. I say major dungeons. These are still like in, in many ways just step one. <laughs> Things are still going to get more difficult. So I think what I'll do next is I'm going to go back to the Venture Cave and try and um, get that extra money bin perk. You need to manage Unstoppable. Um, so we'll, we'll have to try and get Unstoppable. And I'm pretty sure that is just like kill every monster. So um, we'll do that. We'll get some extra gold. And that way we might unlock the next set of quests. And as well as uh, we'll have enough money that we can, um, you know, unlock a new class. Not sure who I want to go for. I kind of re I remember liking monks, but uh, who knows? We'll, we'll see. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for uh, more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.